Hi guys. So I am currently, let's turn this down. I'm on like a mini break for myself. And by break, I mean one night. I'm in a hotel alone. I'm in London. I'm gonna show you guys the hotel room. Basically, I'm at Novotel in Wembley. It's quite nice actually, quite decent. Oh my God, bed. This is like the TV desk area so basically oh god i'm going to see jordan peterson i don't know if you guys know who that is with one of my friends and yeah because it's in london and because of all obviously the busyness at the moment i thought i'd just get a room and stay just so i'm not like stranded here the plan now well i'm actually ready so i'm wearing this jumper which is from asos these top shop jeans and my air forces also skinny jeans why is everyone so against them i really need them to make a comeback or to become cool again because i literally wear them all the time but yeah i'm gonna just chill for a bit and then we're gonna go get some food at nando's um i've had nando's twice in the past week and this is gonna be my third love to see it i'm gonna see if the bed's comfy not too bad i kind of want to jump on the bed is that like childish who gives a shit? Oh. oh my god, that was so fun. I let the intrusive thoughts win, I'm glad I did. Oh, also, obviously I bought snacks. These, if you don't know about these, guys, these are the best crisps you'll ever have. I've literally got everyone at work onto them. They're called Proper Chip, what was that brand? Proper Chips Sweet Sriracha. Sour Patch Kids. And then just like my makeup and shit. In fact, I'm gonna have some crisps now because I'm starving. And I haven't eaten, okay, since breakfast. Anyways, I'm actually like on time and early for once, which is just insane. It's refreshing. The word is refreshing. Okay guys, I'm back and it's freaking freezing. I don't understand. Which one of these means heat? It's so cold. Oh, by the way, Jordan Peterson was really good. Actually, kind of have some thoughts. Jordan Peterson was good, but I feel like it was just a little bit short. We went in and then there was like some music stuff. Um, as like, I don't know if you call it the warm up. I don't know. It was literally a psychology presentation. My life is lit, I know. But yeah, then he came on and he spoke like just generally for like about half an hour. And then he did like a Q&A thing. It was really, really good. But he only answered two questions and it just kind of felt like, damn. Yeah, it was good overall. I feel like I learned a lot. I mean, I've spent Friday nights in different ways. But yeah, it's about half 10 now. I was really, really close to the venue, which was really good. Um, so everything's been easy and I'm literally two seconds away from the station. I might even go shopping tomorrow because I'm right next to the outlet thing, this shopping center thing in Wembley. And yeah, I also booked a breakfast myself. <laughs> I know, at the hotel. So I'm gonna try and get a goodish night's sleep so I can wake up and get ready in time for that. But yeah, overall, it was a good night. My eyes are also really bloodshot. I don't know what that's about. Anyway, I need to figure out how to fix this. <laughs> Heating, because I'm literally freezing my tits off. Times like this, being in a hotel, makes me miss my going out days. Oh, that lighting is not flattering. Yeah, like a few years ago, I would go out pretty much every weekend. <laughs> Get drunk, the whole thing. But this just kind of gives me the memory of that <laughs> but i'm not actually going anywhere i went to a psychology presentation and i'm back in my hotel room by i was back here by 10 and a few years ago i wouldn't have even left to go out by 10 so funny how the tables turn i was talking to my friend earlier though and he was saying it's like fully cuffing season and i was like yeah bitch it is i just feel like everyone around me is either getting into a relationship or getting engaged or just like going to the next level in whatever they're in and <laughs> here's me i can't explain to you how much i hate dating apps i hate them i literally will download them and delete them within a week and i do that multiple times and then i just won't re-download them for like a year to me that explains why i'm single but part of me is just like it's gonna happen like it's just gonna happen and i know it's not just gonna fall in my lap but part of me is just like it is Anyway, um, oh my god, my eyes are so red. I'm gonna chill, watch some TV, probably have some snacks actually. Oh, oh my god, the Sour Patch Kids. Anyway, as lonely as I am, 
I'm really enjoying myself. <sighs> what a day. I was actually expecting London to be a lot busier than it was. Do you guys see what I mean by my hair being too long? Oh my god. Nah, that's a joke. Anyways, I'm gonna go to bed now. I'll see you in the morning. Ow. Oh. oh great, now I'm tired. For a hotel shower. That was decent. Okay, let's go get breakfast. I really hope this works because I just had to go back down. Thank God. Oh my God. I literally came all the way back up and the key card didn't work. <laughs> oh, what a nice view of a car park. Anyways, I'm gonna get ready. If you guys could see what you're balanced on right now, you'd be just as worried as me. Breakfast was nice. Alicia, like, oh shit, I've dropped my contact lens. If you don't like eyes, look away. Alicia, even maybe two years ago, would not have done this or would have been full of anxiety if I knew I was going on a solo trip. But to be honest, I have really enjoyed it. And even going to Denmark earlier in the year, I went to see my cousin and I spent the trip with her, but oh my God, my eyes, I'm not crying, it's my contact. Yeah, even though I went to visit my cousin and spend time with her, the thought of me getting a flight alone, <laughs> I still can't believe I've done it already. And some people that might not seem like a big deal, but to me, that is something that I didn't think I would do in my life, let alone this year so yeah my advice if you're like me and find yourself anxious or you're an anxious type of person honestly in order to grow and it can just start really small as small as going to the supermarket and to some people that might actually not be that small so it just depends on you and what you can handle yeah i would recommend just picking something picking something that's kind of a bit more than you think you can handle because trust me you'll be able to handle it so say it was you going to i don't know drive on your own instead of a five minute drive do a 15 minute drive do you know what i mean you'll really surprise yourself like when you're actually in the situation you just do it and it never well in my experience it's never ever gone the way i've been scared of it going that's just a little tip from big sis alicia god the light is so shit also i don't know if you guys how long you guys have been here if you've been here since last year you might have seen my my video i did at the end of the year which thinking back is kind of cringe just because i do that with videos i'll look back and cringe even though i do like the video i don't know it's just an issue i have let's try and make this brighter is that better anyway yeah basically normally at the end of each year i'll make like a list of goals that i want to reach by the end of the next year and last year i did that for last year so in 2020 i did that for 2021 and i read it out at the end of last year and i had not reached a lot of them at all so i just decided this year i wasn't even disappointed really i was just kind of like okay there's a potential for you to be disappointed so maybe let's not do one for this year and to be honest not limiting because i think when you set goals this is getting so deep guys um yeah when you set goals as much as it's good for growing and having stuff to work towards sometimes it can even limit you because i found this year by not setting any goals like specific goals obviously there's things that i'd like to achieve and they'll always be in the back of my head so there's no getting rid of them but by not making any specific goals like i want this by the end of the year i've actually experienced so much more like stuff I couldn't even even imagined if you know what I mean and I feel like for me I've done stuff that I never thought I'd do opportunities I've just found especially with work have just opened up without like obviously I put in effort in my life to get to where I am but opportunities have just opened with ease 
because I've just gone with the flow of my life rather than having a specific like I want to reach this amount of subscribers by this time. I've just let life happen but just gone at life with an open mind and got me some great opportunities, some really good experiences. I feel like I've grown a lot. I don't think I'll ever grow as much as I grew between 2020 and 2021 because that, that was probably the most uncomfortable time in my life, but I'm so happy it happened. But in terms of experiencing stuff and saying yes to stuff and opening up and being braver, I guess, this year has really, I don't know, I feel like I just found myself a bit more. Um, but yeah, sometimes not setting specific goals can actually benefit you. Did it find me a boyfriend? No. That's next year's problem. My mom, and I'm just gonna put it out there because my mom said it, my mom thinks I'm gonna have a boyfriend by the end of this year. And I'm like, thanks mom for the positivity, but where the f is he? Anyways, <laughs> maybe I need to re-download the Maybe I need to re-download Hinge. I hate it, I hate it. But yeah, I'm gonna finish getting ready because if I carry on talking, this will be about an hour long. I just went back to close it, to open it again. I'm ready. I'm gonna go, I think I am gonna go shopping. I actually have until 12 to check out. So I might go to the shop and then come back and check out at the same time. What if I'm longer than an hour, you know? Where's my perfume? Oh, packed it, packed it. Okay, I'm gonna show you the full outfit. Okay, so this is the outfit. Top from plt i wear this literally all the time trousers are i'll show you full length trousers are from asos but i think they're stradivarius and then this jacket is really old top shop bag h&m and yeah that's pretty much it i'm gonna leave now i've actually had such a nice time honestly so yeah i'm gonna go to a few shops then head home for a long weekend because i'm not in work on monday cheers to solo trips